between the north wind and the sun, over who was more powerful. The north wind went first and sent out a long blast of cold air, trying to blow off the man's garment. We were part of another horn camp, for want of a better term, and we thought we'd like to do something a little different, rather than it being a sort of boot camp where the strongest players get to play and the weakest players are not allowed to perform. We felt there was something in the concept of trying to encourage everyone to enjoy playing the horn, whether or not they were professionals, or if they were students, whether or not they intended to play the horn as a career. And this has actually worked out very well. We wanted everyone to be able to come and to enjoy playing the horn in a supportive environment. And that's what it's become now. We have, we've had 15-year-olds uh, and 78-year-olds and everything in between. And the great thing about the Institute is that they can, it's so wonderful to see them. They're so excited about being around Barry Tuckwell. I first came to Barry Tuckwell uh, when I was 14 years old. I wanted to go to the camp, but I was too young because there's still an age limitation on it then. And I came to the recital instead and all I could think was, oh my God, there's Barry Tuckle, he's playing right there. So this is now my third BTI, and it's, it's, it's awesome here, I love it here. They get to, we, we eat dinners together, and they, they, we have breakfast together and lunch, and, and they're like, oh my gosh, I get to sit and have lunch with Barry Tuckwell. You know, that's, that's the exciting part for me to see. I think the unique part about the Barry Tuckwell Institute is the fact that it unites adult amateurs um, high school students who possibly may consider music as a career and college students who are definitely considering music as a career all in one place. Um, all of the people are very supportive of what we're doing and trying to create and it's really nice to play solos and in ensembles with everyone having different goals as far as the horn is concerned but coming together to make the same music. <laughs>
the School of the Arts and Communication at the College of New Jersey is sponsoring the Barry Tuckwell Institute. This is an, a unique opportunity for horn players from around the world to come to work with some of the finest horn teachers and pedagogues. Bringing the Barry Tuckwell Institute to the campus allows students to have a chance to work in a specialty field with others who are interested in like instruments. But you hear, you hear the sound of the, you know, you imagine, okay, here's the slot of the note. You hear the sound go, the pinch up against the top of the slot and then go through the middle and then dull out to the bottom of the slot and then back to the middle. And I think this is a great way to start the day in finding your sweetest centered sound. You know, just, just go. I've, I live in New York City. I started horn about four years ago and I just like the instrument a lot. So I knew about this from my music teacher because she knew I really liked um, playing the horn, plus she knew that I actually uh, liked Barry Tuckwell's sound. And it, more, it sort of became what it is now over a couple of years. It, we attracted uh, all kinds of students from the young ones. to the, We didn't have an audition or anything like that. We wanted everyone to be able to come and to enjoy playing the horn in a supportive environment. And that's what it's become now. We have, we've had 15-year-olds uh, and 78-year-olds and everything in between. The Barry Tuckwell Institute has been, was established in 2002 and we've had it on the College of New Jersey campus for the past two years. It's been a great opportunity for us to work with world-renowned players. And the honor of having Barry Tuckwell on the campus was, is even more of a kick. Mm -hmm.